Hey, it's Brittany from Trailer Traction and we are going to show you Sir Boat. It's our latest client project. It's an Airstream Limited Excella, 34 feet and it's a 1989. That's my pupper. the exterior if you haven't noticed yet sir boat is a big bitch and it requires a huge hitch to get it around this is a Hensley hitch and it is absolutely impeccable when you're on the road and swaying around we haven't owned one personally but we've heard amazing things so check it out if you're ever needing some towing help So if you're ever wondering how you stabilize this big of a rig, it is super easy with these electric leg extenders. You turn them on and off here. You can move one, each one individually up at the front. There's no more running around the rig, especially if it's raining or anything like that. So setup is super easy to take down and put up. That's my pupper again. such a star. A few highlights on the exterior are the awnings on every window. We actually also have this WeBoost that's set up here. We'll take a look at that on the inside as well. This of course has two ACs. The original was over the dinette and kitchen area. We added one over the bed so that you're comfortable while sleeping. That's my pupper. We're all about junk in the trunk around here at Trailer Trash, and, and Serbo is no different. He's got a generator built right in. Airstream seem to have that iconic classic look on the outside, but not one of them looks like this on the inside. Let's check it out. Whenever we start out our journey with clients, we always talk about function. That is absolutely the number one important thing in such a tiny space. And so with this, we knew that Sarah would be living in here full time. And one of the first things that she was adamant about was removing the current couch or the old kind of dingy upholstery. And that was an absolute must that had to go. In its place, we put this custom build out that serves as multiple functions. There's storage underneath, of course, but it could also accommodate either someone sleeping here or on the side. She really loves to sit cross-legged and snuggle up, and so we tried to create a space for her that she would really love. I just have to give a shout out to our upholsters. They did an amazing job. It's Stat Upholstery here in College Station. What I love about this design, one, they worked with me amazingly. I had so many things in my head and they just made it come to life. But basically this whole build out is four pillows. That is awesome in the sense that she's not gonna lose them. They're not gonna be misplaced. They're easy to put into place. And if she wants to remove them to accommodate more space for sleeping, it's just two pillows. This upholstery in the dinette is popping. It literally was the jumping off point for the whole color scheme of the rest of the trailer. It's just feminine enough and gives you a wide range of colors to play with. You know this girl gotta have some bling and this is no exception. Check out this gold faucet. It's actually really cheap from Home Depot and it mimics a lot of the more expensive faucets you might find. These counters were original and who wouldn't want to keep them? All the elements that we chose played off of them and Honestly, it makes this awesome gold faucet stand out that much more. This 34 foot allows a girl to wine and dine. So we've got a perfect spot for her to do that or work or be a boss bitch. I'm only saying this because Will wanted me to, but after the beauty, we gotta show you 
the DVD. So we replaced the vanity in here. We made sure to epoxy the shower pan. New floor, new toilet, and it's shining like a beaut. I had to get my partner to show you the bedroom. And a queen deserves a queen. <laughs> so we did a queen in a kind of a day bed setup to give her more room. So it's sideways, and we did custom build outs around the side, dropped some electrical in three places, did custom curtains in the back as well, custom AC in the top. She's gonna be sleeping in an ice cube. <laughs> so this was her boat. It took us about eight weeks to complete, and we could not be happier with how it turned out. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Our channel has other DIY videos as well as other Airstream walkthroughs, so make sure to check it out.